think it's very, I think it's very interesting that we're getting to this uh, dichotomy and the, and the tension. Um, I'm not sure that it's easy to find a way that completely reconciles uh, privacy, privacy and safety, but I do think that's where we need to be recognizing that the tension is not going to go away. We're not going to be able to get a point where we've recognized that. What I want to uh, argue for, having listened to some of the views that have been stated here, is to argue that the tension, uh, the views that come from, on the one hand, the idea of complete freedom and keep the state out, and others saying, well, states have a responsibility, is the justification for the third way, if you like, or the IGF way of doing things. I mean, frankly, it will be irresponsible to leave it simply to users. And the uh, example that was given a few moments ago uh, absolutely underlined that from a developing country point of view. Nor can we lead it to governments. Uh, that way lies madness. Both have a role, but to pin the responsibility on either would be irresponsible. Now, I underline again, there is a temptation to legislate. If you say there's a problem, and people say there ought to be a law against it, or the government is responsible, so they'll bring in a law, uh, laws rarely prevent what they forbid, and that is even more dangerous to try and seek it at an international level for two reasons. One is that we have to compromise all the views that exist right across different nations and different cultures and different levels of development. Uh, and secondly, it will take so much time that uh, whatever the danger was, it will be long past by the time we uh, reach any legislation. And I, the second point I would make is that many of the issues that we're debating here uh, and that are debated in relation to the Internet are not really Internet issues. So, for example, if somebody uses a footpath uh, to reach my house and burgle it and steals things from it, that is not a footpath crime. Uh, the crime is the theft, the burglary. And similarly with the Internet, many things are not Internet issues in terms of whether they are crimes or not. The issue is, can we make the Internet, uh, the roadway, the pathway, if you like, a safer play B by, for instance, improving lighting, which is known to uh, increase safety in the, in the physical world. So we need to look at those issues. We do need to have a necessary tension between rights and responsibilities. Be, the, the tensions between freedom and law are not new, they're not unique to the internet, they always exist in our debates in international context about where things should lie. So I would simply argue that the IGF has to look for the third way, the way in which at a national level we balance the tension between freedom and responsibility, tackling crime, preventing crime and all the rest of it, uh, and that we have to use the IGF as a vehicle for inventing new forms of governance and tackling crime is inevitably linked to the issues of government, governance. Who decides? How do we decide? And it needs to be a, a faster, a, a more cooperative way of doing things that we invent. That's the challenge to us, not to decide which point on a spectrum we are going to settle on because we will be continually moving along that spectrum in relation to different issues. So, so I just detect a little bit, though, Alan, that you think we might have to give a bit on privacy in order to have greater Sorry? cyber security. Do I detect a little bit in your argument that we might have to give a bit on privacy, though, in I order don't, to get I don't more cyber think, Yes, I don't think we can ever be absolutely safe uh, from the dangers that are involved in the Internet, nor do I think that we can make privacy a total absolute. Neither of those things are tenable. What we have to do is to uh, argue through the issues of privacy and safety uh, and develop ideas of best practice, what is acceptable, and try to move forward together. I know that sounds less efficient than having a decision or, or, or a convention or, or a piece of international... I would suggest to you in the long term that it will be, will be more engaged and actually more effective. Sounds like an excellent piece of British pragmatism to me, actually. <laughs>